to another episode. I'm Joey. There's Tim over there. Uh, we are starting our day off today with a hike uh, by where we live in Phoenix here. We're going to show you a full day of food today, but we wanted to get the day started off with exercise. You know, during the week, we both have trainers and all that, but on the weekend, you know, if we don't get out and do something, uh, there's no exercise. Uh, and we need to we need to get out and move to burn off some calories. So I'm just going to show you some uh, some of what we're seeing here out in the uh, desert, which is where we live. Uh, in many ways, the desert's absolutely beautiful. Um, we both grew up in places where it's very green and moving to the desert, you're like, oh, everything's brown. It's like dead and it's far from it. It's exactly the opposite. So I'll take you along and show you what we see. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. a year ago Yeah, it wasn't a beautiful sunny day out, but it was still a great day for a hike, right? Yeah, I love that um, some of you guys have expressed how much you love seeing the landscape. You know? Yeah, I, I just assume that, like we grew up in, in green climates, I assume people just don't like the desert, but I absolutely love it. And people have said, oh my gosh, I can't believe how beautiful it is. So. Exactly. All right, so today we're gonna do a day of food. We're starving, uh, we wanna jump right into it. All of our recipes are on uh, plantbasedads.net, so you don't have to copy them down. And then like, we yes. probably should, a uh, quick shout out to our Patreon and PayPal supporters, our financial supporters. And for those of you who are doing the super thanks, where they just, they pay to just leave a comment, right? I mean, we really appreciate you. Without you, the channel doesn't work. So, uh, I mean, I have a full-time job. Tim has a full-time job. I have to make all this work on the side and it's another full-time job. And you know, this groceries buy and all that stuff. So thank you for all that. Yes, uh, shout out to the uh, couple who sent us a photo on their bikes. Oh my gosh. Keep uh, active. So, you know, with the chronometer thing, people are like, can you add me to chronometer? Because I asked you to do that. And I'm like, yeah. Well, some of the people have been sending me photos of themselves, right? This is me and my husband, we're on our bike, we're not 70s, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Tim, you have to check these out. This is the most adorable couple. I don't want to say their names on camera, but some of you who are sending me photos, 
That is so cool. I absolutely love that. Right? Yeah. I love connecting with you all. Yeah, my parents are in their 70s. Um, my mom is almost 80 yeah. this year. They're walking, they're in the gym, they're active as well. So I'm just, anyway, I hope that encourages you if yeah. that's you, but. You're never too old you're never to too take old. your health back now. <laughs> all right, ready? Let's get to Let's the food. Get to Let's get to the food. For breakfast, it's our natural high protein cereal bowl. And this meal comes in at 439.5 calories, 33.7 grams of protein, and 13.5 grams of fat. For our TVP vanilla, we're gonna start with 15 grams of slivered almonds and 10 grams of flaked coconut unsweetened. I'm gonna lay those out on a baking tray here. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. I'm just gonna spread those out so they can bake evenly. And the parchment paper is kind of uh, really big here, so I'm just gonna take a scissor and cut around the edges to get rid of the excess. It's going in a toaster oven. I don't want it to touch the, the, the elements. And I'm gonna put these in the toaster oven just for a few minutes. The coconut will cook really fast. So you may have to take that out first. I'm just gonna put it on toast, and the coconut needs maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and the slivered almonds need maybe a little bit longer, so please keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. It just needs to get a little brown, that's it. While that's happening, we're gonna grab a mixing bowl here, and in the mixing bowl I'm gonna put in 100 grams or a cup and a half of textured vegetable protein, 20 grams of monk fruit sweetener. You can adjust this to whatever you want as far as uh, amount, depending on how sweet it is, or you can use sugar if you want, or maple syrup. Monk fruit sweetener is very low in calories, and I'm all about the calories. But you do you, boo. We're gonna put in four grams, or one half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And now I'm dumping in the flaked coconut and the slivered almonds I toasted in the uh, toaster oven. Man, they look fantastic. In they go. And then we're gonna put in about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm just gonna mix this up, try and get it folded together uh, so it's all combined, and the TVP absorbs all the vanilla extract. Just keep folding it together till it looks all like one solid brownish color. All right, this is ready to go. I'm gonna start off with this Kite Hill brand Greek style yogurt. Uh, it's tasteless, I'll be honest with you, but we're about to change all that. 17 grams of protein, plant protein per serving. I'm gonna pop that right in here because I've already measured out 170 grams, or you can put one of the smaller containers in, but we didn't have that. Next, I'm adding in 40 grams of Costco frozen blueberries. After that, it's one pitted medjool date, all chopped up, about 18 grams. Then I've got 50 grams of bananas all sliced up, it's about half a banana. And then I've got about 50 grams of a red apple here, just all diced up, I've still got the skin on it, oops. And I got more ingredients to go, but I'm gonna start mixing this up a little bit just so I can get all my, uh, my stuff uh, combined here before I put the seeds on top. Oh man, that looks pretty good. And then I'm adding some of that granola we just made. This is an entire serving of it, so it's a quarter of the recipe. And again, I'm gonna kind of mix that up here to get it all combined. You can see now it's really starting to come together. Instead of it just being a like one big yogurt and fruit, you've got the texture going on here. Man, that looks really good. And for our omegas, we're gonna add one tablespoon of hemp seeds. And there you go. Man, it looks great. Can't wait to eat this, let me give this a shot. All right, I got my fruit in there. I wanna get some blueberries in there too. All right, look at all that goodness right there. That looks amazing. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, so many great textures in here. This is absolutely perfect. For lunch, we're having our high protein, low calorie TVP oat burgers with our rainbow salad. The whole meal comes in at 445 calories, 40 grams of protein, and 11 grams of fat. All right, we're gonna start our TVP oat burgers off with a mixing bowl, and we got our scale set to zero. We've started out. I wanna make sure we're on uh, grams, but we're gonna add one cup or 94 grams of TVP, textured vegetable protein. Notice that I put a cup in here, and it's only at 72 grams. Many of you have asked me, why do I use grams when I'm in the US? This is exactly why. You don't know what you're getting with the cup. I can tell you right now, it's not enough. So I'm gonna add the rest in that I need. If you're measuring food out and you're counting calories, you need to use grams. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Next, it's one quarter cup or 20 grams of rolled oats. And you can see right there, the 20 grams is already hit, and I've still got oats in the cup. Again, grams are exact, cups aren't. Now it's one half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Next, it's one half a teaspoon of dried basil. After that, it's one half a teaspoon of dried parsley. Then we've got one half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And of course, you can't have that without a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then a quarter teaspoon of mustard powder. The powders on the scale don't matter. They don't really contribute any calories. Next, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of almost boiling water. 
I am just gonna use a three quarters of a cup here. I'm not gonna worry about milliliters or grams because water doesn't have any calories. And now I just wanna get that all mixed up. The goal here is for the TVP and the oats to kind of absorb all of this hot water. We're using hot water so the oats can kind of cook and soften in it. So we'll just kind of get that all mixed up. It's not gonna all soak right away, but it will over the next few minutes. All right, so we'll just kind of push that all together. And we're just gonna set that aside just for a few minutes and let it all soak up. Next, we're putting in two tablespoons of ketchup or 34 grams. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And that's about right, because one tablespoon was 15. So let's see, we have here, there we go. 34 grams, perfect. After that, we're putting two tablespoons or 24 grams of soy sauce. So my one tablespoon is about 14 grams, 24, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this together here so it all combines. I wanna make sure that my batter evenly distributes those spices that I just put in. Next, I'm going to use some of this PB2 cashew powder. I'm just using a, a tablespoon of the powder and a tablespoon of water and mixing it together to get like a cashew butter, that's all it is. And I'm gonna dump that in here also. This will kind of work as a, a binder and uh, give it a little something sticky for it all to hold together with. And I'm just gonna get that incorporated in. All right, we're looking pretty good there. And this isn't in the original recipe. We're also gonna add one quarter cup of cooked red beets just to give it some color. So let's kind of get that mixed in and that'll kind of make it a lot redder. We used to eat this uh, veggie burger at Houston's years ago when we were vegetarians, and I remember it was a beet-based burger and it was red, it was absolutely delicious, and I was fascinated by the color. So you can see the beet just turning the whole thing red, which is kind of neat. Plus, beets are good for your liver, so it's a nice little add-on right there. Next, we're adding a quarter cup of flour, or 48 grams, and notice a quarter cup is only 34 grams. It really does depend on the density of your flour, so I'm just gonna add the rest of it. There you go. And then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, or about three grams. The flour will act as a binding agent also, and the nooch will just give it some kind of nutty, nuchy flavor. And that's all the ingredients, and all we need to do now is just get it together. At this point, you can just use your hands on it. I mean, the beets are in there, so it's not something I really wanna do, but I really need this to come together, and it's really tough to do that with a wooden spoon. And plus, I wanna make sure I get everything off the side. See, I'm just gonna go around with my hands and grab it together. You wanna to make kind of like, a, you know, a, a burger consistency out of this, because that's what we're gonna be making out of this. We're gonna be making burgers. So you can see here with the beets in it, it almost looks like ground beef, which is kind of bizarre, right? It's got definitely a, a burger patty, uh, ready to make burger patty consistency on this. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna cut this into four pieces and make four burgers out of it. All right, you can see here, we've just, you could measure this, but we've just broken it up into four equal pieces and that's our burger. So I'm just gonna pull each one of these to make a patty. I just wanted you to see that. All right, so I'm using my very expensive uh, burger patty tool, which is the top of a mason jar because this is a fancy show. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my first like little quarter and stick it in there and you could put some spray oil on this if you want, but I haven't had to do this, and I've made these burgers many times. And it kind of just makes a patty right there, right? And if you just go like this, it comes out. And I mean, look how good that looks, right? Like, that's a perfect little burger patty. And there you go. And since I've already broken the dough up into four pieces, I don't have to worry about how much goes in each one. I just kind of have to get it into the, the mold. There we go, there's number two. And that one's done. Here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna pop these into an air fryer at 350 degrees, and we're gonna let these air fry for 10 minutes. If you don't have an air fryer, just use your oven. Uh, if you have a convection oven, that's all an air fryer is, 10 minutes in the convection oven. You just wanna keep an eye on them. Whatever oven you're using, you just don't want them to burn. They should kind of get brown, but don't let them to burn. All right, 350 Fahrenheit, 10 minutes. Let's get them into the oven. While the burgers are cooking, we'll get started on our rainbow chopped salad. We're gonna put our veggies in the food processor. We're gonna start with half a medium onion or 35 grams. Next, it's two medium carrots, about 122 grams. After that, it's a quarter of a head of red cabbage or about 200 grams. Now I'm tossing in three cups of raw broccoli. I'm obviously gonna need a bigger mixer. And then finally, one cup of cauliflower, all chopped up. We're gonna to attempt to get the food processor cover on here and hope for the best. All right, so what I've done here is I dumped the whole thing into a bowl, and then I put a little bit in here, just to do a little bit at a time, because 
this uh, this food process is not big enough to do the whole thing at once. I just want to get like a very fine dice on all this. You see that right there? That's what we're looking at. We want to be able to like spoon it, right? And there you go. So that's perfect. I'm gonna dump this and get to the next batch. We're gonna dump the processed veggies into this bowl, but before I do that, I've got about a quarter of a cup or three grams of fresh parsley and about a quarter of a cup or three grams of fresh oregano. I'm just gonna dump in the uh, veggies that we just processed <laughs> in three different parts. I'm gonna just kind of move it around to get the herbs on top here before we throw the dressing in. And you can see everything's finely chopped. It's a spoonable salad. I know that sounds odd. If we don't chop this up, we're gonna wind up with broccoli salad. All right, this is ready for dressing, so let's start making the dressing. For the dressing in a small bowl, we're gonna start by adding two tablespoons or 48 grams of lemon juice. After that, it's two tablespoons or about 30 grams of apple cider vinegar. Now I'm adding about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric and then about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm also just gonna sprinkle in some dried oregano, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, and also a little bit of dried parsley, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon there, same thing. Just to enhance the flavors. And then I'm gonna mix all this up with my whisk. And then I'm just gonna pour that right into my salad here. My beautiful rainbow salad. Look at that, that's the colors of health right there. And I'm just gonna get this all mixed up. And this is gonna be our side salad. This makes four very large servings. So there's a lot of salad here. You get a lot of bang for your buck as far as calories with this salad. And I'm gonna give those flavors some time to get to know each other while we build our burgers. All right, the burger patties are out of the oven and they're cooled off. Look how nice and deep red they got from cooking in the oven. And they're really held together really nice. These are gonna be perfect little burgers. We're using this Primal Bakery protein bread right here for the buns. So I'm just gonna lay down some slices of bread here. You can toast this if you'd like. And I'm gonna add some mustard on here. Mustard has zero calories in it. It's a perfect little condiment. You gotta love it. Just gonna squeeze, a, I don't know, about a half a tablespoon onto each side. I don't wanna overdo it. And I'm just gonna spread that around. All right, time for my uh, veggies. I'm gonna grab some lettuce right here and throw this on. That's a really big lettuce leaf, but I'm gonna put it on anyway. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna add some tomatoes on here because you can't have a sandwich with lettuce without tomatoes on it. And now I'm gonna add one of my TVP oat burgers. Whoa, look how great that looks. And I'm gonna top this right here. And there I have it. Look at that burger, right? Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? All right, I'm just gonna cut that in half because we can't eat a sandwich whole. I mean, we're not savages, right? <laughs> And look at that. Look how amazing that looks. That's gonna be a great sandwich. I can't wait to eat this. All right, I'm gonna put that on the side right here. And now I'm just gonna add some of that salad I made. And there we go. We've got a beautiful beet burger with our amazing rainbow salad. It's a great little side salad. It's full of nutrients, it's full of healthy things. This is really a great way to get a really healthy boost of vitamins and minerals. Plus, it's a, a great way to bulk up this meal without a lot of calories. Lunch is served. Our hearty protein salad comes in at 335 calories, 27.4 grams of protein, and 17.6 grams of fat. All right, so here's a quick story. I went to this function at my school, National Council on Women in Information Technology. Uh, my work wife, Bahavna, was getting an award, and there were just huge, like, catering trays of salad they bought with no dressing on them and no cheese because they knew I was a vegan. So at the end of the night, there were eight of those trays left. So I took a whole tray, hadn't even been opened, of salad ready to eat, and we broke it up into big like glass containers. So here's one of them. So I'm putting in two, about two cups, actually I'll weigh a lot more, but for you, if you're making this at home, about two cups of lettuce. You'll notice there's mushrooms in it, too. Uh, and there's stuff in it already, tomatoes and all that, because this was a big catering tray of salad. So I just took it home and I didn't want that to go to waste. So we're having it for dinner tonight. So the whole recipe starts with two cups of lettuce and this recipe makes two servings. I'm just tossing it in this huge bowl that we have. This is a gigantic bowl. On top of that, I'm adding a block of cooked tofu. This is just my salt and pepper tofu. I have a recipe for that right here and you can check that out. And I'm just adding this right on top of the salad here. 
There you go. That's enough tofu for two people. You'll just be sharing a block of tofu. After that, I'm adding about 100 grams of red onion right to the middle here. And then I've got one medjool date, about 17 grams of medjool date here. We took the pit out. It's just the, the one from Costco. And we're just going to... I'm gonna, I mean, it's a medjool date. It's going to stick to itself all over the place, but I'm just going to try and layer that throughout the salad here. Once the dressing's on it and all that, it'll, it'll get, they'll get pulled apart here. Now I'm putting in about one tablespoon of chopped walnuts. Next, I'm adding 75 grams of apple slices or about one small apple. And now I'm adding a tablespoon of sunflower seeds or about eight grams. There you go. And then the very last thing that I'm adding is a dressing. This is my cashew powder maple ranch dressing. I have a link to that right up here, so check that out. I've made this many times before. Uh, it's just a cashew dressing, but I use the uh, PB2 cashew powder instead of actual cashew butter. Uh, so it cuts down on the calories and the fat. And I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in here, and then we'll kind of mix it all up to serve it. What a beautiful oil-free dressing. This is still one of my favorite dressings. I love the taste of it. We've got some fresh dill in it. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, there you have it. Our amazing, hearty protein salad. This isn't a really a recipe recipe. This is just something I threw together because I, someone gave me the opportunity to take home a big tray of salad. All right, we're gonna enjoy this. We'll see you at dessert. You've heard of Cherry Garcia? Well, today we're making Cherry Troxel protein ice cream. This dessert comes in at 232 calories for the entire pint, 20 grams of protein, and nine grams of fat. Let's get to some ice cream. We're gonna start off our ice cream here in the container with one scoop of Earth Chimp vanilla protein powder. Next, we're adding two tablespoons of zero calorie sweetener. This is the monk fruit sweetener. Then we're adding a cup and a half of soy milk or 360 milliliters. We're using the Silk Organic Soy. It's got really good numbers. It's seven grams of protein per serving with only 80 calories. Next, we're adding some of this uh, sugar-free, Simply Delish uh, vanilla pudding. Uh, there is no animal products in it, and we're adding about three grams of that. So this is our base ice cream recipe that we build everything upon. So from here, you can take it to many different flavors. Tim's just gonna mix this together with this little cream frother thing we have just to get it all combined. One thing I like about this, you can go along the bottom if there's powder or... And you just wanna keep mixing it till it's all combined. The good thing about the earth chimp powder is it, do it isn't grainy, it really blends really nicely. All right, we're mixed up. All that's left for us to do here is put the cap on it and throw it in the freezer. Now you wanna make sure that while this is freezing, it freezes flat, so don't angle it because when you put it in the, the Ninja Creamy uh, machine, the blade has to be flat when it comes down. It can't hit any bumps. So uh, stand it upright in the freezer and let it freeze. Let's get in the freezer and then once it's ready, we're gonna dig in. All right, so the ice cream's ready to have the rest of it put together. Time for fillings. Well, yeah, the fillings is the whole thing, otherwise it's just a base. A long time ago, I don't, did April get us this, or who got us this? The Ben and Jerry's uh, ice cream and dessert cookbook. It's, it's not vegan, because when this came out, I don't even think Ben and Jerry's had any vegan flavors, uh, but it, it gives you the recipes, Yeah. right? Creams and eggs and stuff like that. Yeah. But anyway, this recipe comes from out of here. Right out of here, yeah. So we just took the Cherry Garcia recipe, right? Because we love Cherry Garcia. Well, we used to love Cherry Garcia. And uh, we veganized it. We made our own base. Yep. And then we needed to know, like this tells you, a quarter cup of cherries. It tells you five grams of, of shaved chocolate. Yep. So that's what we're doing. So I'll put a link to this book below. If you're a vegan and you're triggered by eggs and stuff, then don't bother with it. But if you can look at something like this and go, oh, I can, I oh, have right. a base. Yeah, I could do that. There you go. Uh, the other thing is we're using the, just the Costco frozen cherries, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the sweet, uh, sweet cherries, the sweet dark cherries. Yeah, there's some health benefits for a dark sweet cherry. Yeah. So yeah. I use that in smoothies sometimes. Yeah. And then for the chocolate, we're using endangered species, extreme dark chocolate. Uh, dark chocolate almost always is vegan because it's not made with milk, depending on the sugar. So there's chocolate, uh, like Verona chocolate you want to use for a souffle. But for this being chopped in, I don't think it really matters. I think we got the, the least expensive one that were the one that was on sale. Yeah. So it's like three dollars for a I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sale. When it gets to this dark, I don't know how choosy you need to be. So yeah. anyway. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Let's switch places because you do this okay. really well. Okay. Uh coming out of the freezer, we want to make sure there's no like lumps. 
Uh, and we're gonna pop it in there. Yeah. Why he says that? Because in the center can be a, a, a like a mound, a mound or yeah. something. Yeah. And you want to flatten that out with a spoon. Yeah, we're good with this. There's some bubbles on the side. We're fine. So we're gonna put it in here, and you have to run it. We're running it on light ice cream, uh, and you have to run it a few different cycles through it before it gets really soft. But when it gets to the part where it's ready to eat, then we're gonna dump in the mixes. Yeah. So job one is to get this um, nice and creamy. And then there's the setting for the mix-ins. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's check on how our texture is doing here. Ooh, it's nice Let me see. and creamy. Oh yeah, that's exactly the texture we're looking for. That's like a soft serve texture. That's ready to go. All right, so at this point, we the ice cream's ready, but we're gonna put our mix-ins in, right? Yes. All right, so that's a whole different cycle though, right? That's just the base ice cream. That's just vanilla ice cream. It's not gonna taste anything special. We haven't, but we haven't done vanilla. I know, we haven't done vanilla. We have all these other ones in the freezer, no vanilla. But this is really smooth, and I, from the comments we've been getting, I think it's from, because of the Earth Chimp, does mix more smooth and there's a link yeah that's right the earth chimp protein powder really does does well with this there's a link below for 10 percent off right yeah uh, uh, and if you, each time each time you buy it it's 10 percent off not like some of the other companies you get it only the first time and if you order over 45 dollars you get free shipping i mean who wants to pay for shipping so. yeah so i've heard that this works great in oats because it is smooth well the ice cream no different uh it's not grainy at all all right so, so let's dump in our mix in okay. it made that little funnel in the in the middle of it all right we measured we're putting in five grams of that dark chocolate bar that we're using this is like extreme dark chocolate yes so pop that in there and we're putting in a quarter of a cup or 30 grams what kind of cherries are those so these are the dark sweet organic cherries the frozen ones yeah, from Costco. they're frozen yeah. they cut so easily uh it's just one of those fruits that doesn't freeze super hard and the mix-ins are not gonna they're not it's just gonna fold it all together so yeah. pop that in there all right so this is gonna cherry garcia it up right or cherry troxel it up right we don't want to steal a, a name that's already being used all right, mix-ins, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do full, because we had ice cream that came up to the, on the sides, up to the top, okay? We'll do light ice cream again, and there's a mix-ins button here, we're just gonna select that. All right, let's take a look here. Ooh. I can see that it's pretty mixed in. See that? Oh yeah, that does look good. I mean, you can see the mix-ins are kind of all folded in there together. You got the red down there. The texture looks the texture looks really good, right? Yeah. Oh, we gotta try this for sure. The mixture. Perfect. What do you think? Mmm. Was that really good? I don't know if I I don't even remember Cherry Garcia. Even if you're not a fan of dark chocolate, it complements oh, this man. nicely, right? There's no bitterness, like Oh wow, this is delicious. Yeah. Holy and smoke. did I tell you there's protein in here? A, a protein ice cream. This is amazing. Oh, smoke. So, let me tell you, grating the chocolate, I was like, this is too fine. What am I doing? The hints so, of it. So I broke off some chunks. Oh. And now that I got a chunk, it was kind of distracting. So I would trust that grating, the fine grate, because it gets in here and it just oh. complements the cherry. Like, it's just... This is delicious. <gasps> Holy smoke. I... I think this is the best one we've done so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when you put a quarter cup of cherries, is like five cherries. You're cutting this cup going, this ain't enough to do anything, right? right? What did I count? Yeah. Five cherries? Yeah. You were like, I said, we need a quarter cup of cherries. Tim was like, um, that's five. Like, should we put I, like I, I a bag maybe. in? Yeah. And I'm like, no, five. It's enough, right? It like, is. It isn't overpowering. I don't know if you can see there's like grains of chocolate and that's all oh. you need in this. So I really, went into this thinking i don't know but it works so grade the chocolate you know what a great day of food mm -hmm. all right that's our video for today uh, a full day of food high protein meals uh some dessert uh, a great recipe for cherry troxel ice cream yes. uh knockoff of cherry garcia click that like button show us some love click on subscribe click that bell you'll notified every time we have a video usually every tuesday 
And leave a comment below. What did you think about uh, the natural cereal bowl? Pretty good option, don't you think? Excellent. Yeah, the, yep. uh, gar the cherry ice cream, absolutely delicious. All the meals were really good. Good opportunities uh, to get it. So we did a lot of like roughage and, and whole foods this on this one. Yeah, I feel like uh, getting our protein that we needed for the day and the yeah. calories, yeah. that um, we got a lot more fiber than we had been before. So. Yeah, other than the TVP, and I guess you yeah. could argue the tofu, because it's not a whole food, but it's minimally processed. Other than those things, I think a lot of it was uh, backed up by a lot of extra bulk of, of whole foods. Yeah. All, All right. right. I know you put a lot of work into this, so yeah. thank you right. very thank much. You. Okay. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. So bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>